Hello, everyone. I can't see you. I'm not used to be on stage. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for coming. Uh, I just have three uh, important points to tell you about what this project is all about. Um, this is a preview of our concerts in, on January 6th in Philadelphia and on January 7th at Lincoln Center. And uh, it's, the excitement is that our I Sing International Young Artists Festival, I'm sure a lot of you know about it, and uh, it has been around for 10 years now. So it's very exciting that we have come to today that our singers will be singing with the Philadelphia Orchestra. So that is my first excitement. When we got this uh, assignment, it was, uh, I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> so now we have to prepare for this, and that's very uh, challenging for a small organization like ours. And the second point I want to tell you is that this, the title of our concert is called Echoes of ancient Tang poems. So the Tang poems, I'm sure all, most of you know, are, how should I describe, precious cultural heritage that should belong to the world, not just China. Because Tang poems um, have a statue really comparable in Chinese literature, comparable to Shakespeare in the English literature. So with this, we are very honored to be able to have this concert for everybody. Um, how we did it, uh, I will go back to year 2020. That's the beginning of our pandemic. And we decided to have our first competition for composers. So we call it composition, competition. And we spent seven months laboring over what poems to choose. And then we have a jury panels picking uh, winners from 100 and some uh, uh, applicants of young composers from around the world. In the end, we end up with 14 young singers from six countries uh, composing music to a selection of Tang poems. And the result is what you are gonna hear on September 7. We will tease you a little bit with a little bit of music today. Um, so, that composition competition really was a lot of work, seven months, and we thought we did a great job because we did everything online. We didn't have to see anybody, but online we can do all the competition, all the jury decision, and everything. But after that, to our surprise, we were invited by our Suzo Cultural and Arts Center to and they ask us, why are you not doing your world premiere this year? And Tian and I look at each other and say, how could we do it? You know, this is the pandemic. But anyway, we did it. In November, in, starting in October, we brought in to China uh, over 10 singers, I don't remember the exact numbers now, uh, singers to um, they had to go through quarantine, of course, and then we had to train them and coach them and then rehearsal, and in the end, we did a world premiere. And on January 7, you're going to hear the same concert, but this time it's going to be Alice Tully Hall with the Philadelphia Orchestra. So that's my second point. And my third is, uh, and I will show you a little documentary that we shorten it to 30 minutes so that you can see how we started doing this project. How did we put the singers together? How did they come into China? And during the pandemic, it, it's a, not, a lot of uh, 
tension, as you can imagine, because anyone who got sick, we're going to have to cancel the whole project. Anyway, we did it, and so I want you to enjoy uh, 30 minutes of this um, documentary called The Moon and I. 2020年,全世界范围是很悲惨的一年。有的时候我会翻翻唐诗啊,自己想让自己安静一点的时候。那么我就在想有没有可能让外国的青年歌唱家可以接触一下中文演唱。now the moment of truth, entering the plane to go to Shanghai. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. I personally feel that if this is done, it will definitely be a miracle. Anyone who's not standing, I will not starting. And see you, please confirm. I have to have my tortillas. So that's how I memorize is by writing it all out. And we have to really every day, I think, we have to bring the best to the table because I have a tremendous privilege to be here. It was a really interesting festival because it's so international. take me to JFK to fly to Shanghai for icing tank palms. I just left uh, the place where I stay in Paris uh, and I'm going to the airport. I'm excited and happy to start the trip. Finally I met uh, Jana so I'm really Hi. glad that we will travel together. Yeah we are going to Istanbul and uh, we are going to stay there 18 hours. We just did a stop in South Korea right now and then we're gonna go to Shanghai. So we were transported to another, uh, just like a convention center. It's a very large room. I'm here with some of my colleagues, so that's Anna, Maureen, and Holly. Hello. Who are at this point going to be taken to a location, another hotel that is closer to Suzhou. All right, just got to the second hotel closer to Suzhou. This is a resort. This is very nice. This is a beautiful closet. I love the carvings on it. We'll go in that later. I feel so lucky to be able to come outside every day. Just listen to those birds. Can you hear them? Hi. We got neighbors. 
Milica's over there. Milica! I'm good! Happy World Opera Day from my quarantine in Suzhou. anticipation of my food. It's dinner! Uh, today my dinner surprised me a lot. It looks like so rich and uh, so delicious. This beautiful forest green dress. This is one of my very favorites. Right, I'm getting out of quarantine tomorrow. I'm so excited that it's almost done and I can't wait to see my colleagues. It is the last morning of quarantine. I am getting out of here in uh, just about an hour and a half. I'm going to miss the birds every morning. I'm going to miss the view of the lake. Um, I don't think I'm going to have a balcony in my new place. So here we go. This is home for about the next month. This is awesome. This is really nice. <音樂>我們所有的這些外國歌唱家十四天以後呢他們還要經過十四天的健康管理的隔離所以我們就把兩台鋼琴搬到他們住的這個旅館在旅館裡我們的專家組的這些專家們訓練他們 You know, it's what we, we live off. I mean, we're hungry for it, so thank you. Thank you all for coming, and thank you all for being healthy. You guys are lucky. So let's hope our luck will go on until November 24th. Yeah. I hope you guys will study your tongue poem and understand the meaning, because the tongue poem to us, to in the Chinese culture, is like Shakespeare to the West, the top of the top of Chinese culture. So, cheers. cheers. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. And, um, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, the timing's right.
Da di da da de. Da di da da de. Okay. You have one, two, three, four, seven times the A. I only did one A.就是用了更长的时间来学习。Yeah, Yes, of course. Actually, no, the ego then has to move. Yes, yeah, yeah. okay. One, two, three. Hey! I'm the part of the song. This is a lot of people who need to work on the song. This is a 他们感觉到是在跳舞马萨提斯康皮尔斯这是我们这是我们这个这个爱心艺术节的总监老板是 I would like to those Chinese boys to introduce themselves. My name is. <laughs> we want to yeah. hear you. My name. Okay. My name is Chen Wei. I come from Wuhan. Ooh. I'm 21 years old. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, my name is Yang Siguang, and we all come from Wuhan. Uh, but don't be afraid, that's a safe place right now. Tell. <laughs> 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 Tell them your name and. Uh, Where are you from? Of course, how old? No! <laughs> My name is Igor, I'm from Ukraine and uh, from Ukraine. And, uh, yeah, very tall. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hello.
，欲穷千里目，更上一层楼。与君歌一曲，请君为我倾耳听。And it was it was a really interesting festival because it's so international. It's not just Americans come to China. I mean, even here we have Nicaragua, slash Italian, Ukrainian, Russian, American, Mexico, all over the world. You know, and that for me is really interesting. You hear different languages being spoken. You get to learn different cultures, and I think it opens your mind not just to be so. You know, I know one thing, one country, one culture. That's it. 叮哒叮哒叮哒叮哒叮哒叮哒滴哒滴哒嘣哒哒嘣哒哒嘣哒哒嘣巴哩哒滴。葡萄美酒也干杯，醉醉。哒哒哒哒哒。Yeah, yeah, pretend that you are. Strong， 没有，我有一个地方我想改一下。呀，叭叭叭叭叭，哒哒哒哒哒哒，嗯，梆梆梆梆哒。The teams are incredible, and you get really good training, and it opens up singing world to something that you had never experienced before. <laughs> There's a young man that I know. His age is twenty-one. These I sing the sing that 都吃过你做的饭吗？哦，都吃。要是我们第一二年我们在北京的时候，那可吃的多了。I like cooking almost every day. So tonight we are making a Spanish pie. Uh, we call it Spanish, but it's a Serbian recipe. In Spain, they don't have this thing. This is corn flour, and we have pepper, red pepper, pickles, uh, pepperoni, mm. and cheese. Oh, wonderful. I I'm good at something, you know. This is the uh, most important uh, vegetable for our uh, soup. <laughs> I have to have my tortillas. Well, my parents are from Mexico. I'm from oh. the United States, but they're they're Mexican. So I, I grew up Mexican. I had a couple of the people over, and we made I made Mexican food. Es que la mili. Se fue, se movió, se movió. Después de la batalla. Okay, I don't mind. Just. 先把这个就填饱了。不会不会，我们要吃外国菜。Hello, I'm Chinese hot dogs. Oh, USA. This is for my mom. Nella Sierra Morena, cielito lindo viene bajando. This is Americano. What the? This is okay, Serbian. And this is Chinese spring roll. This is Russian pancake. We're gonna have butter. Real butter. Yeah, real butter. And this, what is the Mexican food called? Quesadilla. Quesadilla. And this is borscht. 
In the background, this is Catherine for you made. Curry, oh, curry. Oh, such amazing uh, yeah. dinner. You play guitar also. You do, my son. Yes, Before you were born. Russian song. Yes, 你就已经成为一个朋友。It really is more than just a place to sing. Like this is really becomes a, an international family. And the colleagues that are here, you know, some of them I've met before, others I've just seen in pictures. And so it's nice. Every time you come here, your family grows a little bit. And they always have wonderful people here.
I made it very clear to my boss in the beginning. Singing will always come first. In my life, uh, I see really rare the high quality of organization, like one of the best uh, I uh, participate ever. And I think you do not uh, go through these bureaucratic processes, you know, alone. You never do that alone. He is the most wonderfully kind, supportive man. He and Martha, both of them. <laughs> Like my, my aunt and uncle. You gave us the you gave us the opportunity to come back to life when we didn't know what was gonna happen. You know, after I've been here so many times, like it's it's like family to me. I, I really miss them. Chao 
情长黑苦路，比啊比啊，花鼓声声，哎呀，白鼓喧声震。An amazing journey, but where did you come up with this idea? I sing, and and all the reverberations that that project really reflects. But but how did this come about? <laughs> Who cooked this up? I see a lot of cooking in that film, but somebody cooked up something pretty major here. Well, the I think idea started in 2011th, 20 no, even earlier, 2010th, zero one one. Okay, zero one one. Yeah, and um, that year I was singing in Italy, um, Verdi's opera. Uh, in first day rehearsal, because I was the uh, only Asian, so the first day rehearsal, I I was I was asked. Are you a Japanese? I said, no. Are you a Korean? I said, no. I'm a Chinese. I'm from Beijing. Oh, Beijing. Is there opera house in Beijing? Is there a symphony orchestra? Is there Bercanto voice training in the... Yes, so uh, actually uh, we talked about 20 minutes, the first uh, break about uh, um, music, singing, opera in Beijing. And that evening, actually, Martha was in uh, uh, New York, so we had a long talk on the phone. I said, well, my colleagues, I hope someday I could bring them to China and to help them to understand um, more about Chinese culture, language. Okay, so we start to, uh, to invite uh, conductors, state directors, uh, coaches from the Metropolitan Opera, from uh, different conservatories, to bring them to uh, the conservatories in, in China to help train the singers. And from the year 2011, we started this uh, I Sing International Arts Festival. So purpose, purpose are very simple. I would like to, um, we would like to help Western uh, young singers to learn sing in Mandarin. Mandarin is a beautiful language. And, uh, well, in this world, I don't know how many, I mean, but at least a um, quarter of the people speak this beautiful language. So we thought I could sing opera in Italian, French, German, Czech, 
Latin, Russian, and uh, these many languages. So why not to, to help some young singers, I mean, come to sing, to, to learn to sing something in Mandarin. So we started. And uh, so this is our actually 11th year, and uh, over 350 singers from uh, 30 some different countries went to Sudo uh, once a summer and uh, to uh, work with it together. And then the rest uh, you see the movie. Um, so that's how we started. And I told myself, I, I knew I would be very uh, moved, okay, by this uh, um, uh, documentary, but I, I told myself, uh, don't get too, too emotional. But I still, I mean. <laughs> You're still emotional, huh? So I'm going to go back in time a little bit, Martha. Um, many people have seen From Mao to the Met. Uh, but, but how did you fall in love, not with him, with the music? <laughs> and the, or what, did you fall in love with him and then the music? Could you tell us, just give us a little bit of a frame uh, on, on how those worlds came together, which I think sets us up to then explore further in this project. Well, I grew up in Hong Kong, and you know all Asian kids have to study one kind of instrument, mostly piano, violin, and I studied the piano. So I grew up with the piano, and when I went to college in Philadelphia, outside Philadelphia, I got a full scholarship uh, because my father was only a, um, an engineer in Hong Kong, working the Hong Kong government. So he told me, if you don't get a scholarship, you don't go anywhere. So I got a full scholarship. I went to Bryn Mawr College. And there, I was very lucky. They gave, continued to give me some money to study piano. So without any talent, I continued to study music study piano, and there Philadelphia Orchestra was around in Philadelphia, and uh, as an a, uh, international student, I got free tickets to go to Philadelphia Orchestra. Then, if you all remember, 1973, um, that was the first orchestra, Philadelphia Orchestra, went to China, and I was then already in graduate school at Penn, so I was still in Philadelphia, and so I was very excited that they went, and when they came back to Philadelphia, they gave a concert of what they did in China, and I was in the audience. So this is like 50 years ago, because next year is the 50, 50th anniversary of their historic trip to China. So I, without Tian, I was always interested in music. <laughs> Okay, all right, now we're getting the nitty gritty. <laughs> but, but, then something happened. <laughs> I think that's not the subject today, right? <laughs> we don't need Just to the go short into... <laughs> version. <laughs> all right, all right, we don't have to go into the short version. Um, many of you will know that. Uh, Tian Hao Jung has been a major opera singer who has sung all over the world, including at the Met Opera. And, and we first met, I think, uh, when you were still there. And, uh, and we've done several programs here, more on your career. But what, what um, is so exciting in this new project is this, uh, this coming together of culture in a, in a really interesting way. And it's you know, I think what really shows to all of us is that that shared passion mm -hmm. really came through. I mean, it just came through. And I'm so glad you brought up the Philadelphia Orchestra 1973 trip to China, because this whole idea of culture as diplomacy, culture is what, you know, I think gets us really deeply. Ping pong is good. Don't get me wrong. I like ping pong, but but I will say that that for me music is something, and it and it's the coming together that is so beautiful. Yes. yes. Um, and what's clear from what you've just said is that that it's your passion for the language, and the fact that this art form that you love so dearly, 
you know, opera. And I, I don't even feel comfortable anymore saying Western opera. It sounds so antiquated. You know what I mean? It's, it's a beautiful art form, and now it's one that's shared in multiple languages. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what are the challenges of, are there specific challenges, being that it's a tonal language, to, to have opera sung in, in Chinese? Chinese? Yeah. Well, I think when we first started this program, we really didn't know how Mandarin, as a lyric language, how you know, whether the singers can do it. But it turned out they really can do it. You just saw, heard Holly, and, uh, uh, and also you saw on the documentary. They really have learned that pick, they can pick up the diction, just like they pick up other languages. So we are very happy that now, in fact, we have already, Tian have put them in some operas already. We have done some operas, and it's in, all in Chinese. And they came into the into the, you know, opera production. And also singing Mandarin, it's not that easy, even for Chinese people, because we have so many dialects in China. And uh, so when you pronounce uh, uh, Mandarin, it's, it's not that easy. For example, for, for this project, um, so for our Chinese friends here, probably it's so easy for you to say Huanghe, but we spend the days and the weeks working with our singers. Always we say Huanghe, and they say Huanghe. <laughs> you know, we said, no, 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 Huanghe, Huanghe. You know, it's, it's very difficult. So, but it's, it's, um, for 11 years, we have done over 40 concerts, and we have uh, lots of friends, people to support. There are some today here, okay? And uh, we really appreciate it. Silas, we really appreciate it. David, mm -hmm. David Chang there, and uh, many. Um, uh, so, um, I would like to say this is a uh, project is uh, huge, and we are lacking of uh, uh, helps because every, every, everybody is busy. But we got um, some young people to help me today. We have to thank to the phone because we can work with uh, our team from uh, Beijing, from uh, Hong Kong, from Taiwan, from uh, Europe, uh, different countries, different cities, and um, so. Uh, Martha said already in January 67, we have this uh, 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 I Sing Suzhou Tang Poem with the uh, Philadelphia Orchestra. With the Philadelphia Orchestra, it's a really, really uh, honor, huge honor. Um, we talked about uh, uh, 50 years ago, anniversary for Philadelphia Orchestra to visit China. And for my own experience, actually, um, about 20 years ago, I had my first time to sing with this great, I mean, legend, I mean, Symphony Orchestra in Philadelphia. I mean, I tell you what was the feeling as a singer when I was standing there next to the conductor, when the music started, you are sur surrounded by what a beautiful sound, mm -hmm. you know, all kinds, kinds of instruments. And I was, when the first sound started, I mean, before I opened my, you know, voice, I was really in tears. I mean, it's so beautiful. So, and uh, this is our honor, I mean, for I sing to, uh, um, to, uh, to do this uh, huge project with them um, today, and uh, we have a few singers here, and uh, some singers will be singing in the chorus. We have a uh, 15 chorus, wonderful singers. Can you raise your hand? Who will be singing with us? You look back there. <laughs> Great, thank you. Um, so um, that's all I would like to say, right? Also, we, we have singers who are eye singers here, right? 
who went through our program. Previous singer. Yes. Yay, That's an ice okay. singer. Hey, once again. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's a great idea. So anybody who is who is bravo, either in the alumni or in the chorus, if you would bravo. stand. And you don't believe it when 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 that gentleman, tall guy, uh, joined us, and he was just a, a student, something like a 19, 20 years old. Today he's singing at the Metropolitan Opera. So. And I'm looking for the uh, Met Opera to be doing one of these new uh, pieces. But, but I have to ask, I have to go back for, for a minute, because this project, in addition to the amazing singers you've brought together and trained, you had the incredibly inspiring idea of having new composers. Yeah. So you're not only introducing the idea of, of physically singing the music, but having new people from across the globe, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the, the, that process. That, I think it was a competition. It's and a competition, but it took seven months, but we could do it online. So, you know, you can put in, a pro, in um, some kind of a app that's called Yap, Yap or something. Then you can put your project on and everybody can go online and see that, oh, here's a composi composition competition that I could apply. So they apply. So we receive everything online. We receive 108 applicants. And in the end, we chose 14. So, you know, and when they sent in their application, together with their name, you know, how old they are, which country they are from, and also they send in MP3, meaning they send in their composition. So you can hear it online. So everything is done online. And, uh, but it's a lot of work, 108, can you imagine? And did they, what language did they know, the poems? How did you do that? Okay, we, we first have it only, we want them to send in the MP3 of their own composition, not with the tongue poems, so that the judges, the jury, they can hear whether this person write good music for voices. And then when we pick, that's a semi-final, they pick these singers, and then, I'm not singers, sorry, I'm so used to having singers, uh, composers, that they will, uh, then we will ask them, we have these poems. Now that's a lot of work, the poem side, because the poems are in Chinese. First, there are hundreds of tongue poems. We have to pick only 15, 16, and so this is also, Tian also rounded up a lot of scholars, historians from Columbia University, from China, Beijing University, from you know, all, all places, again, online, to discuss what sh poem should we choose. The, the one that you just heard by Holly is by a seven-year-old composer. No, no. A, a poet, poet, poet. A seven poet. Poet uh, from the Tang Dynasty. It's called. It's about goose. So it's a lot of fun. And he he was only seven. Um, and then with that, we have to have all the poems translated, and each word by word, we have to put down what's the meaning, and what does it sound like, and then we give also background of the poet, English, and also the period all the explanation for the composers. Of course, today, they can also Google a lot of these things and find out themselves. But we did a lot of preparation for them first. So they, they probably will find a Chinese uh, colleague or your know, classmate so that they can hear the sound and then they compose. It's phenomenal, it's a phenomenal I, I can tell you, I also went through the lockdown here in uh, New York. I didn't do anything like this. <laughs> I'm just so inspired by the, the work and love that you've put into this. And the other thing I, that really um, I, I think is so powerful is it's a new generation. You've really uh, nurtured a new generation that's global both in terms of singers and composers, and actually the academics too, to imagine, oh, here's a new way that we can come together. That 
that I don't I can think of no other project that does this. It's quite astounding. Um, we were lucky. We were lucky. Uh, I don't think Nobody it was just think. luck. I think I think you are truly inspired and a true gift to the world. I try to cook for them a lot so that they don't go out to eat. <laughs> uh, um, I just it, wash yeah. dishes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish you all the best with these two upcoming concerts, and I know that that the tickets are available online. And, um, and we look forward to coming together. Also with Sujo, could you say a little bit about Sujo and how they've been in, involved with this? Because we had a delegation that came to visit and it's really inspiring. Sometimes, you know, you, you have these collaborations that are, that are surprising. Me again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suzo is a beautiful city. I think we got very lucky that we didn't do it in Beijing, we didn't do it in Shanghai, but we went to Suzhou, a place that's so beautiful. You guys, anybody who wants to go to China has to go to Suzhou to see, you've been there, right? Oh. I have <laughs> dreams. It has everything, beauty, everything about beauty. And they have beautiful homes built by scholars or retired officials, and then the the building has lots of history and w very beautifully done and with their beautiful gardens and they uh, have embroidery and their food is all of this world. Uh, what else? <laughs> and also, you, if you go to the Met Museum here, the Met Museum here, they have a garden that is built by the Suzo uh, uh, workers, the, they, they came here and, and put the garden together. So anyway, I have a beautiful book at home. I can lend it to anybody who wants to read it. And <laughs> but, okay, you can take her up on that at the reception. Um, I think time is, is getting a little short and we have one more treat for you all, but please give a big hand to, to these visionaries.
Good luck.